welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hopefully things are looking a little bit different, a little bit better today as this is my first video with the new camera and the new setup here on my um, new desk. This is actually not the contact paper here, this is my actual art desk that I use sometimes and was bought specifically for um, YouTube here. Um, so this is this entirely new setup over here. I've got a new camera arm. This is not the webcam. This is the new camera and I'm very excited to use it. So I figured I'd start out with something low stress and open up some art boxes for you guys since that video went over well last time and why not start things off with new art supplies for the new year, right? So let's get on into it. And remember if you like videos like this where you explore new art supplies, see what's new, if you like art supply, uh, art videos in general, uh, consider subscribing to the channel, um, give the video thumbs up if you like this sort of content, and really just sit back and enjoy the video. So we'll start off with art snacks, we'll move palette for packs off to the side real quick, and we will pop into art snacks first. I can't believe I remembered to bring my knife over from my other desk. Plus for me. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, what color is this? I don't think I have this color. I need to know what color this is. Got some other goodies. We got the menu, which I don't want to read right now. And we got a mystery flavor uh, Dum Dum Lollipop, which will go right to my daughter. She loves these lollipops. She prefers ones that are green colored. I was going to say green flavored, but that doesn't make any sense. She prefers the green color. Um, she will love this regardless. Um, let's go ahead and open up the paper first and see what's inside here. And I cannot wait to get inside the Daniel Smith half pan because Y'all know, if you're familiar with me, Daniel Smith is my go-to watercolor. That is my main watercolor palette that I use. And I'm always excited to get a new color there. Oh, goodness, this is this is big. What are these chunky boys? Everything's chunky. Look at this, chunky everything. These are from Stabilo. And uh, that's, that's, that's all I get. Uh, I see a paintbrush, so I guess they're water soluble. And I guess we'll have to go to the card to figure out more about those. This is Tombow Mono Twin. So you got a chisel nib and a brush nib, it looks like, or like a bullet nib. But that is that is another chunky boy. And <laughs> following in line with chunky, we have a Princeton Snap Brush Stroke, one half inch chunky brush. So everything except the half pan in this uh, box is just a chunky boy cute little sticker i like this one it's very light and pastelish and i really like that very watercolorish which is appropriate given the contents now let's see if this one is marked with what color it is because it does not look familiar to me so i don't believe it's one i have I don't know how they got this in here without making a huge disaster of this bag. So props to them. We're just going to have the next like couple of minutes of me struggling to open this and get this out. Nailed it. Ooh, the paint came out of the half pan. <laughs> okay. Oh, we get a sticker! Oh, that is going right on my palette. Oh, that is going right on my palette. Awesome. You get, get, get back in the hat pen. Um, so there's no marking on the half pan at all to tell me what color this is. Um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine. Oh my goodness, I want this color. I wanted this color and I've held off on getting it. This is amazing. This 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 box is a winner. I don't care about anything else in the box. Did this right here. I can't believe it. I have heard amazing things about Sleeping Beauty Turquoise 
and I've wanted to get it for a while, but I've, I've held off because I've got so many Daniel Smith colors. That I'm like, no, 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 don't order more. You're fine. Try other brands and do other things with that. Your Daniel Smith palette is as big as can be right now anyway. But the fact that they sent me the color that I wanted is just absolutely amazing. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> That's, that is amazing. Oh, what else has we got in here? Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't believe I got it. Oh, it's like different uh, sets based off of uh, artists. Like what color palettes they used. Oh, look, that's how you actually pour properly. You know, not how I do it at all. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. And so many of these colors I know I have. Quinacridone Gold I have. I have Cascade Green, Phthalo Blue. I now have Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. Uh, let's see what else. Burnt Sienna Light I have. I think I have Quinacridone Rose. Uh, what else we got here? Hansi Yellow. No, they use mediums. Quinacridone Gold. Ultramarine Blue. Well, these actually are a lot of colors I don't do. Moon Glow I have. Rose of Ultramarine I have. I actually have a few of these colors, but not a lot of them, really. That just goes to show that Daniel Smith has a very extensive line of colors in their... Uh, wine. Now let's uh, let's read up about some of these supplies that we don't know much about and I'm going to have to mark that. Um, we're going to put that off to the side where we can't see because I'm going to have to mark that one like I normally do my other half pans or else I'm going to forget. Well I probably won't forget but it, it just, I mostly do like that. I want to have it labeled properly. So we have Two Stabilo Woody 3-in-1 pencils. The Stabilo Woody is a colored pencil, wax, crayon, and watercolor all in one. It's extra thick lead, contains eight times as much color as the standard colored pencil, and is perfect for coloring large surfaces. You'll achieve vivid, smooth lines that offer great coverage and even show up on dark paper. Brush the strokes with some water and you'll watch the pigment melt to the surface. Oh, everybody got Daniel Smith Sleeping Bird Beauty Turquoise. Okay, everybody got that one. That's that's not just me, that's everybody. Um, so this is limited edition. This unique vibrant blue watercolor paint is made from gemstone that comes from the Sleeping Beauty Mountain in Arizona. Uh, where Daniel Smith found a deposit that meets their high expectations. And then we've got the Tombow Mono Twin Permanent Marker. Features... It's a bullet nib. Okay, it fills a chisel and bullet nib. It's a smear proof oil based ink. And then we have the brush. Okay. So that is amazing. So it wasn't lucky uh, that I got it. Everyone who got it got this color. I mean, it's actually interesting that the uh, Stabilo here is very similar. It's a little more green. But that, that'll be interesting to play around with these kind of colors and see what I can kind of come up with. So for the time being, we'll put these back in the box and I will organize that stuff later. That stays out for my kiddo. That goes somewhere over here and I'll deal with that later. And the Sleeping Beauty Turquoise will stay out and go for my palette. So that, that can hide out over here where we can't see it. We can't see it. We can't see it. Good. <laughs> Trying to get used to new setup and as you can see I actually have autofocus on this camera now so I don't have to worry about things coming in and out of focus anymore so that's wonderful <laughs> so this is palette packs last month um, I didn't record it which is a shame they actually knocked it out of the park with a sommelier little set of half pan watercolors so I'm seeing if they're going to keep up the trend of just being awesome again I hope they do because they normally do and it's looking ooh, snappy it's looking like they're going to keep being awesome because right away eh, we have a set of Daler can we see that yeah we can see that 
Daler Rowney System 3 Fluid Acrylics. I'm not the biggest fan of fluid acrylics, to be honest, but I'm interested to always try more to see if I find one that really works for me. Um, and I've never tried these before, and it looks like we've got white, probably titanium white, lemon yellow, probably like pyrrole or scarlet, cadmium red hue, ultramarine, phthalo green, and that's probably black in there in the corner yeah that looks like a black so good get there we have e oh i love these uh, princeton select angular shader i in high school when i took art i used to almost exclusively paint with angle brushes like non-stop it was hard to get me to paint with anything else nowadays it seems to be i paint with almost nothing but rounds but It'll be fun to paint with a angle brush once again. Oh, I love these. A um, couple years back, they uh, sent one of these little spray bottles and I use it to wet my watercolor palettes all the time now. So it'll be nice to have a secondary one that I can keep here over on this desk for when I'm painting. So I'm very excited to have another one of these on hand. I know that seems silly to be very excited about a little water spray bottle, but it's actually like perfect timing. So thank you, powerful bags. Digging around a little further, we have art alternatives. Yes, yeah. art alternatives, probably what? Five by seven, I guess, give or take size of a um, panel board for painting. We have the sticker for this month, which is really fancy looking. Try to get all the green fuzzies off of it. I see more brushes off to the side. So they didn't just give us the one they gave us. It looks like three. Hey, there's my rounds. A Robert Simmons round five acrylic brush, which is probably the one I use the most. And a eight over zero white sable Robert Simmons, which is a little, little tiny guy for detail work. We got there and then I'm guessing just this canvas is left yeah just this canvas a Daler Rowney canvas I've never used this before this is an 8 by 10 and it looks fancy it's an artist professional canvas so it's like super fancy canvas it's like Professional strength, holds heavier color, acid-free, triple-primed, heavyweight cotton canvas. Like, it, it's a good canvas. It's not cheap at all. And it even comes with the little uh, stretcher thingies. I think those are stretcher thingies? Yeah, it allows the uh, tension to be adjusted. I'm right. <laughs> I don't normally get fancy canvases that include that, so that's, like, a little foreign to me. I normally get cheaper canvases, so bear with me. And then little green things that I have to hide from my daughter because if she gets a hold of them she'll throw them all about the house and then the cats will play with them and the one cat likes to eat them and then we're all going to have a bad time so all in all this is a very nice little box we've got two surfaces a set of paint and three brushes and then the little spray bottle which is very nice I'm excited for a very professional canvas I may actually end up using the canvas for something else I'll definitely use the panel for the fluid acrylics here but I may actually end up saving the canvas for something else I know that's probably terrible but <laughs> it's a fancy canvas I might want to use oil paint on it excited to have some more new brushes and very, very excited to have another spray bottle for my workspace over here. Really, it could not have come at a better time as I'm now going to be recording over here. And it's just perfect timing. So all in all, these two boxes were amazing. Really got some amazing stuff. The Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Genuine was just fantastic get. The water bottle was a fantastic get. Really great boxes to start out the New York... Uh, <laughs> really great boxes to start out the new year excuse me 
and I'm just really excited to get into this stuff and see what I can create with it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the supplies here and I hope if you got the boxes to yourself that you're going to enjoy what you create with them. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, help support the channel, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see any of these supplies in uh, further detail or you have questions about them, leave it down below in the comment section. I'll get back to you on that. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel. I love to watch my little art family grow as you join me on my art journey. And I guess that about wraps things up. So take care, have a good one, and bye for now.